Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Fino Concepts. So today I'm going to show you how to create this in Adobe Photoshop. So let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concepts. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So let's go ahead and open up my application. For this tutorial, I'm using Photoshop CC 2018 and I'll go ahead and open up my image. So I'll just right click and open this with Adobe Photoshop. Now the first thing we have to do is make sure that the background is not locked. So I'll double click on this to make it a layer and I'll go ahead and create a new solid on top. So we'll go to the adjustment panel. I want a white solid so I'll just click on OK. Make sure that that solid is beneath my main image. Now with the image selected, go to the selection tool and select the rectangular marquee tool then create a selection like this whilst holding down the shift so that you get a perfect square selection now bring this to the corner you want this effect to work so in my case it is at the right bottom corner now go to edit transform and a transform select warp now if this process is too long for you right click on the selection go to free transform or transform selections then click on this little icon right here now i'm going to click and drag from this corner to something like this once i'm comfortable i just release it you can go ahead and also play with these corners in case the alignment is not good enough for you and i'll just hit enter on my keyboard when i'm done or just click on this check mark up here now ctrl d to deselect or just go to select and click on deselect so i already have the effects like this but I prefer to have some form of shadow over here. So with that layer selected, I'll go to FX and click on drop shadow. Now when the layer style pop up, I'm just going to click and drag my drop shadow to somewhere around here. A place where I'm much more comfortable with. You can go ahead and play with the opacity, but I'm just going to leave mine at 100%. And make sure that your blend mode is multiply and the color is solid black. And basically you are going to get that same effect. So in case you have something else like a logo, which in my case I do have one, so I'm just going to place that somewhere around here, making sure that it is not overlapping my image. And I can also place it beneath it, so it looks something like this. And basically that's how to do it. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to watch more of our videos, hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Final Concept. And I'll see you guys in the next one.